So we have the 2AP5 powered on, Catahoula Technology Scope Board, um, just banana connectors, and then Bell & Howell Signal Generator, the center tapped 12.6 volts AC is going to this uh, deflection yoke that I built. There you can see it's two turns of, it's two coils of 12 turns, and that's center tapped with the 6.3 volts. And then I also have the differential, I have the whole signal, going to the X axis. So what we have now is a horizontal modulation that is going to happen from the uh, deflection yoke, or I'm sorry, the vertical, and then the horizontal is going to be the input signal. So what we'll see, it's not calibrated, so it's a mess, but um, you could see that hysteresis function, I suppose, developing. Hopefully I don't blow the thing up, but um, yeah. You could, well, for one thing, it's in phase, which is interesting. If we unplug those, see that it's a pretty standard vertical deflection. Um, but yeah, so now I'm, I guess I can try um, connecting those, the X and Y, to the function generator instead. If we use a sine wave that's not synchronized um, as the horizontal deflection, and this is about 60 hertz, um, you can see the rotation because it's out of phase, but that's the hysteresis function. If you just crank it, you can see it's uh, asymmetrical. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I did try it biasing with um, DC stuff, but it really did not like that um, at all. So yeah, I think I want to try again because um, the idea of adding a DC bias to maybe even the center tap um, in order to change the saturation point. Um, yeah. Starting to do it, doing the thing, getting into magnets, so kind of cool. This is just an overhead view of the inside of the unit with the tube on the left and the Catahoula Technologies board in the middle, and then a little adapter on the bottom right that I made for the Z axis, which I ended up not using, and then I believe that's the transformer in the top right. This is the deflection yoke, a little bit of a close up. You can see that it's two coils that have two leads each. Um, and then they're center tapped so that it's a push-pull um, configuration. These diagrams are taken from the um, Encyclopedia on Cathode Ray Oscilloscopes and Their Uses by Ryder Uslan. Um, this is from the chapter on deflection systems and cathode ray tubes, and it's explaining the wiring arrangement for the coils so that it creates a um, series connection. And then uh, showing the electromotive force lines that are created in with different configurations of um, the coils. It's hard to get it to show up right because it's so bright, like it's putting out UV and everything. But you can see the yep, you can see the hysteresis um, curve there. There it is. <laughs> um, okay. Bye.